Welcome to my channel. In this episode of the Back to Portugal series, we walked on a section of an ancient Roman road network. Located in an area with a steep slope and panoramic views over the surrounding area, the remaining Estrada Romana in Alcadaun de Serra is about 100 meters long and 4 meters wide. Just imagine the foot and animal traffic that use this road and marvel that this segment still exists 2,000 years later, outlasting the Roman Empire. Right now we're heading out uh, for a little uh, drive. We're going to visit this uh, area that supposedly has uh, an old Roman road. So it dates, it dates back about 2,000 years. It's just, I think it's just a little section of it uh, that's, that's still visible. So in uh, relation to where we are in Lisbon, we are in the Estramadura region. So we're about an hour and a half north of Lisbon. <coughs> um, the Leiria district. The Leiria district. We're just uh, on our way to this uh, Roman road. Um, we are passing through some small villages or hamlets. The Roman roads called the Strada Romana. Strada means road, which is also German and Dutch. Strada. Uh oh, I'm parting at the road. I don't know which way to go now. Go this way. See what happens. I'm not sure if it's this way. We were not using any uh, GPS devices. No. <laughs> we, we we don't have we we have a mobile phone and we could actually turn it on and 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 use Waze. But we're going to see if we can do it on our own based on the uh, you know based well, on, look the it up on the map. We looked it up on the map, and um, we'll see. Looking for signs, but I don't see any. Figured we, there should be a sign here somewhere. Okay, we saw a sign that says Estrada de Romana. So we're heading up. We're heading up on top of the. So there's a path. These are uh, trails. So it's up on the hill then. This road. Oh, it's right here. Oh, here. Yeah, I guess so. Rua da Estrada Romana. This is it? <laughs> oh, I think it's over here. So we, oh, so here? Yeah. Great. We have to park the car and then just walk up. Yeah. In the Roman time period, a road network appeared to facilitate the army progression and to help the organization and administration of the conquered and pacified territories. Okay. I guess the English is a bit awkward, but you yeah. know, it, it, at least it's it's to the point. Well, the Roman so road network was hierarchical. The big arteries of the empire were organized from Rome, and from these, there were ramifications coming out, whose importance was more local. You know, you know basically uh, smaller roads, yeah. tri tributaries. Not all were paved. On the coast of the current Portuguese territory, the main itinerary between the big urban centers of that time, like Lisbon and Braga, but they were called some uh, different names, developed itself through Tagish Valley, passing through Santarom, Tomar, and Conimbraga. And so we were at uh, at Tomar and Kadimbraga a few years ago. I don't think we were, no. we've never been to Santarem. No. Near the coast, there was another road also coming from Lisbon and that passed through Obidosh and Batala, meeting again the first in Kadimbraga. Between the two, the road of Akedon the Sara passed through the mountains of Air and Kenteros. So this road is probably the one from uh, 
it's from the from the road that went from Lisbon from Lisbon to um, Coimbra, and then it went across over to uh, east over towards uh, Spain to the Extremadura. Well, let's let's walk on these two thousand year old roads. My gosh, can you imagine being on a carriage? I don't know if this is the sub because by the drawing over there, it looked like they they actually it was a, a packed. Um, uh, a packed uh, product, so they put down some base, a base layer of, of loose stones or of rough stones, and then they would put on a um, a sort of a gravel or a, a bed of uh, of, uh, of gravel, and then they would lay lay, uh, lay down a flat stone uh, uh, surface on top. And this it could just be that it's worn out. I mean, it's two thousand years old. This could be the, the actually the top layer, but it could be all worn out. I see. It's, it looks like it's very well done. Uh, it's even got a, a thicker, a thicker edge piece, bigger edge piece. Do you think that's original? Yeah. Wow. Oh. interesting that they have this uh, very well defined center stone layout. I don't know if this is for a division of uh, the traffic going going in either direction like we used today. I don't know if that was already established back then. But um, it kind of almost looks like it. It does look like it, right? Because from this angle I can see yeah, that center yeah, line. I don't know if that was the intent or not. Hmm. Look how, how, how well it was done. Right along this edge, it's an elevated. They didn't just follow the uh, the uh, the landscape. They actually try and try and build it uh, to really make it uh, 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 a navigable or a, a, a oh, but, easy, an easy passable area. So by creating they, they these the uh, slopes. Yeah. No, but they they kept the, the road flat as opposed to follow the, the slope of the landscape. They built it up. See how far they built they, it up? Yeah, the, the, you mean the topography, it a right? A year and a half over here that they, uh, that they uh, built it up. Yeah. And this lasted this long. Like, this has not collapsed. So it was really, really well done. That's Roman engineering. So the height of the uh, road is actually quite high. From the ground up, it's probably uh, three, four feet high. It's about two and a half feet, almost three feet. Yeah. I just don't, don't know what the intent of these uh, uh, stand up stones are. Could be a barrier? No, uh, well, or they a could be a barrier marker. or they could be a mile marker. Yeah, but they're too close together, unless it doesn't make any sense, people will not be counting. I that, don't know. That, uh, closer together. Could be. Frankly, from this angle, it's as tall as I am. So there's my left hand straight up from my shoulder. That's still quite of a bit of a walk up. I mean, it, it looks rather shallow uh, instead of steep. Probably a 15 degree angle. Yeah. Um, back then they would have used horses, donkeys, ox to, to uh, to transport things. It could have been a little bit difficult going down this little hill here. So we're in the upper portion of the Roman road. This section is not as well preserved, but you get a sense of how over the past 2000 years, how it's maintained, held up without any kind of maintenance work done on it. We're not even at the very top of this road, but look how far we can see. So I see Mercedes. I think that's uh, where Lady is out that way. Yeah. We should be able to see the castle. 
Cause that'd be the little sport marsh right down there. I can see the the the, the uh, steeples from the, uh, the the castle. Remember that castle, the green roof. Yeah. And the sport marsh. So we were so busy looking down on the road and on our footing that sometimes we weren't looking up. But look at the cliffs along the Roman road, and there's a open face cave over there. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos of our stay in Portugal.